Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Robin Zimmerman. We bring you our show from downtown Beaufort at the fantastic Pat Conroy Literary Center. We've got a great lineup of guests, so stay with us. Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Robin Zimmerman. Our first guest today is the executive director of the Pat Conroy Literary Center, where we are right now. It is Jonathan Haupt. Jonathan, good to have you with us. Thanks, Robin. We have a lot to talk about today because the Pat Conroy Literary Festival is coming up beginning uh, really the last week in October leading to um, the first weekend in November. That's so right. On the 29th, um, we have the launch of Pat Conroy's wife's book, Cassandra that's right. King. Yes. So mm -hmm. may, that's going to be at USCB. So that's talk a little bit about that. USCB Center for the Arts okay. starting at 7 p.m. for the right. event that's free and open to the public. Right. And Cassandra's memoir, uh, Tell Me a Story, be available for sale that night for the very first time. And she'll be in conversation with David Lauderdale from the Island Packet, from the uh, Beaufort Gazette as well. Really okay. nice conversation that's, to jump in on. I know the book is much anticipated. Yes. We've, we've been talking about it for a while, so Absolutely. I'm sure we're, everyone is excited to, to, to be able to read it, to read her story, her version of the man that she was married to in yes, his life. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. This is going to be exciting. And then on October the 30th, we're at the Caligny Theater. And that is with, again, the panel of our Prince's Scribes. That's right. There are uh, four or five of us there that night, including Larry Rowland, fantastic local historian, and one of Pat Conroy's students from Defusky Island, Sally Ann Robinson, will be with us there that night. And I'm excited to uh, learn more about Clay Rice. He's on November the 2nd. Of course, now we're on a Saturday. Right. He's mm -hmm. an artist and an author. So talk about Clay. Clay is a silhouette artist, which is a really remarkable skill set to have. So he'll be right here in the Conroy Center on Saturday from 10 to 1 doing silhouette portraits by appointment. So uh, folks can sign up for that beforehand. It's a really popular thing for parents to do for their kids. Uh, but a lot of is adults black, like to have that done. The, it is. The black on white and it's... It is. It's, does he take a picture or how does he... He does it with you in front, of, in front oh. of him. So he's doing it sort of live in this really wonderful interactive experience that involves storytelling as well because he's also a remarkable children's book author okay. and illustrator. Clay, where is he from, Clay Wright? His family is from right here okay. in Beaufort. Uh, he makes his home on the Isle of Palms now, okay. but uh, he was very kind to come back and, and do some uh, work for us for the festival this year. Sounds good. Now, yeah. on, what else is going on on Saturday before we get to Saturday night? So sure. Saturday is a really big day for us, and for people who've not signed up for anything at all with the festival yet, you can still get into almost anything on Saturday. It's free and open to the public. Very and good. it will be more or less across the street from where we are right now mm -hmm. at Old Bay Marketplace. Mm -hmm. From mm -hmm. 10 in the morning till about 6 p.m., there are a sequence of six uh, presentations that are going on. So for about an hour, someone or a group of someones will be on stage talking about a book or a writer, and uh, the right. audience gets to engage with that. And then there's book signing afterwards each and time. And then that night mm -hmm. is going to be an interesting night because we have Mary Alice Monroe, and Sally Murphy, and they are going to be over at the Technical College of the Low Country. That's right, over in McLean Hall, mm -hmm. starting at 7 p.m. that evening. And that is a ticketed event, so okay. $15 uh, ticket price for that. But Sally R. Murphy was one of the first turtle ladies, and okay. this is a, a, a subject that's very near and dear to Mary Alice. Of course, she's written any number of books about mm -hmm. it, and it was important to Pat Conroy as well. So to put the two of them in conservation about that experience in their own writing lives is, is a really nice opportunity for folks to uh, participate in. Now you have a brochure. I do have a brochure, <laughs> yes, because there's so much going on. Right. It's hard to get your head around right. it. So these are really handy. Very nice. And these are available locally here at the Conroy Center, yes. at the Visitor Center, and also at all of our local bookstores, at mm -hmm. Nevermore, Beaufort Bookstore, and Macintosh Bookshop. Mm -hmm. well, you know, looking at the brochure, it's nicely laid out exactly what is happening each day, but I'm drawn to the last page where it says the partners and sponsors and those in partnership yes. with you all. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a full... It goes this, on a bit. Yes. We would not be able to take on something like this festival by ourselves as the Conroy Center. So it takes a long, long list of community partners, both organizations and individuals, to really make this happen year after year. And so, Jonathan, so much going on this, this week. 
of the festival. So what are you most looking forward to? What are you most anticipating? Well, Saturday morning at 10 over at Old Bay Marketplace, our Camp Conroy kids are coming back. These are the middle school oh, students yes. who we worked with over this the summer. summer. Mm -hmm. That's right. And uh, they produced a book together over the summer, but here at the festival, they're going to get to do a reading from that, really talk about their experiences. Oh, and that's wow. just a nice thing to be able to offer to a group of kids and their families and our community, too. That's wonderful. And where will they be? Exactly? They'll be upstairs at Old Bay Marketplace. Okay, perfect. Again, the uh, Pat Conroy Literary Festival will begin on October the 29th and run through Sunday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. November the 3rd. So thank you so much, Jonathan, for being with us. And good luck. It's going to be a great month. Thank you, Robin. And we'll be right back with North of the Broad. Stay tuned.